It has been one year since Honorable Chagulani sent Amutu on the seat of Member of Parliament for Chad Dondo East. So we catch up with him to find out how his journey has been so far, take into account what his achievements have been, and of course find out what his political future aspirations are. Um, it is one year since you took up the position of Member of Parliament for Chad Dondo East. When you first walked into Parliament, do you remember what it was like? Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. Incidentally, I was wearing the same suit I'm wearing today, <laughs> uh -huh. only the tie is different. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, I felt like such a huge responsibility was bestowed upon, upon me, uh -huh. you know. But it's a responsibility I took proudly, uh -huh. you know, when I took that oath. Um, I took it with full knowledge, like full, full knowledge. So now let's look at the challenges so far. Have, have there been any? in your opinion? Yeah, many challenges. First and foremost, I kind of lost more freedom. Not to say that I had uh, any much more freedom, but uh, I've been targeted by the state, uh, both physically and psychologically, uh, been uh, illegally arrested and detained simply because of what I stand for. Uh, first, uh, um, you know, um, various attacks. I've lost friends because not so many people can stand with a guy who dares to tell the president that he is wrong and that he should go. So <laughs> those are some, of course, families intimidated, friends are intimidated. Um, but again, the more attacks is the more confidence we get. Uh, lately, everywhere you go, you've adopted a new phrase, a new slogan, people power, our power. What does that mean and where did you derive it? Because I think that everything a leader does should be representation of the people, you know. And uh, the way it is here in Uganda, the people are the subjects and the rulers, the, the, the leaders are the, are, the, are the masters. It shouldn't be like that. Mm -hmm. People should feel powerful as citizens. So that slogan is basically to remind the people that it is their power. The law says power belongs to the people. So they are the people. And when they say our power, it's an assertion within them to always remind them that it's actually their power. Mm -hmm. That's why we say people power, our power. Do you see yourself any time in the near future starting up your own political party? Whatever it is, it cannot be my own. Mm. That is what we, that's the kind of individualism we're fighting for. It should be the people and I'm among them. I think the solution is not creating a political party. Mm. It will be just another political party anyway. The solution is people coming together, party or no party. It's a question of coming together because the problem we are facing is not uh, unique to NRM or FDC or DP or JEMA or UPC or any other party. No, it's a Ugandan thing. If it's a party, we are one party, we are Uganda. Okay? Mm. Or you could slide it into two parties, the oppressors and the oppressed. Mm. The eaters and the eaten. So we can no longer be limited by the walls of parties. We can only realize that we are all prisoners held hostage by a group of people. Is there a possibility that you will return to office as member of parliament in 2021 or an office higher? I don't know about 2021 yet. Mm. All I know is that we have to create an atmosphere that allows us to make a, a sober and effective decision for 2021. As of now, we need to galvanize Ugandans to own it, to know that it's not about Chagulani. And indeed, it's not about any other politician or any other political party. It's about all of us. That alone, if we galvanize at least 30 million young people and they think like that, they can make a decision with or without Bobby Wine and they will stand to defend that decision. This wraps up our discussion. My name is Isabella Tugume. Good night. God bless.